Happy Woods Cup of Soul Show. Good morning, everyone. Um, my first question is, what has it been like um, the hearing, the, not only hearing, but seeing the reception for um, Hintify? Yeah. Seeing the reaction. <laughs> it's been incredible. I, would, I, I feel like the love for the series took me aback. It's, it's strange, like I wanted, obviously I wanted the world to see it and to love it and to embrace it, but I think the comments and the, the messages that I've gotten from folks who resonate so hard with the characters and whose lives they're seeing for the first time on screen have been some of the most impactful moments for me that sometimes I can't even process it, that, you know, I get these messages and I know Marvin does it, America does too, um, describing characters or, or experiences that they've never, they've only dreamed of seeing on screen and how much it's meant to them. It's just, you almost have to like detach from it a little bit because it feels like it's it hit so hard because it's been my dream forever to do this, to, to tell those stories and characters that look like me, that look like us on screen, the lives that they're living. So it's it's beautiful. I'm just seeing people's excitement for season two is also a reminder of like, oh, we have fans. <laughs> and it's like, we have a lot of them and they really love the show and they've been waiting. And um, it's a beautiful thing. I'm so excited and so excited for this we've picked up because it's a season that I'm so so proud of. What about you America? Yeah you know I I feel maybe I, I have an outsized kind of confidence when it comes to these things but but you know and I have so much confidence in Marvin and Linda I mean when I first read their scripts for the digital series six years ago my heart soared because I saw my life reflected in a way I'd never seen before. This mix of comedy and style and, but still the heartfelt drama that existed. And, and so for me, it's like when my heart sings with that, I just know that there's millions of other people dying to see that reflection, dying to see that story told. And so, you know, for me, it's like, whether it's ever going to be good enough by mainstream standards is sort of neither here nor there and not our job. Like all we can do is tell the story and put it out in the world. But I never had a doubt that this show would find who this show is for and that they would be so thrilled to see these characters finally, you know, in their living rooms. And so I'm not surprised that it's resonating, but, but, but it obviously makes me so happy to, to hear what it means to people. Um, Linda and Marvin, your show is one of the few shows that features an Afro-Latina in a prominent role. Like she's not just the person, she has agency and she has support. And as an Afro-Latina, that's really important for me and, and for people that look like me. Talk about, was that done purposeful? Was it happenstance? Uh, how did that come about? No, we always wrote, and from the beginning, we wrote Jessica to be Afro-Latina because that was, it's like, it's like, yeah, we want it to be as inclusive as possible. And that is a, 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 um, a character, a person in our lives that we, we want to be able to see on screen as well and to have that representation. Because I know very intimately what it's like to not, to grow up not seeing yourself on screen and how that can affect you. And so, you know, Lynn and I are, we're, we're, <laughs> we're addicted to, to Twitter and to, to the conversations online around representation. And we really took it to heart And when we were first developing out um, the first season and we wanted to be inclusive in that way. Because, um, you know, especially for that character, that we, we wanted to see somebody that is that just loves their community so much. And I think that that was something that was so important and so admirable and something that we saw so much in the community of Boyle Heights that we wanted to reflect. And just wanted to show, I mean, this season in particular, we were really, um, we really wanted to, episode 205, our Halloween episode, we really wanted to make sure that there was an episode for Lydia where she gets to kind of do her thing and an episode for Jessica where we get to see her kind of going through what she goes through. And I, and I remember when we first started breaking the season, we actually called Julissa and we had all these thoughts and ideas for what we wanted to do. And we called her up and Julissa plus Jessica. Um, and we asked her, hey, what is it that you want to see? What is it that you and so many of the things that we had been like kind of brainstorming she brought to light she was like you know in LA like I'll be talking I'll be at the checkout and like someone will be talking bit in Spanish and I'll be like yo sé que estás diciendo like she she'll she'll say like you know they don't know that you're that you 
finish like all the different layers she's like I want to see joy I want to see happiness and uh, between myself and other Dominican Afro Dominicans and these were things that we were already discussing and we're like yes awesome okay that's those were the layers that we wanted to bring out in that episode and we also wanted to to reflect some of the anti-blackness in the community as well what you see in the in the car scene that like, was very much on purpose and wanted to show that we also wanted to show her and Dalia being the best of friends and that love that like kind of old love between childhood friends who will always get you and get where you're coming from like was such a beautiful thing for us to bring um them together in that in that episode it's one of my favorite episodes I get so excited about the episode because just not only just like it's the relationships the costumes the fun the joy that seeing them together having a good time I think it's so true of all of our work we want to see our characters not only dealing with the difficult things we want to see them having their joy as well and having their their complexities and their layers so I hope, you know, we did a, a good service to that storyline. I think there should be more, not only in our series, but in so many other series. I think, we, you know, one character is not enough. I can't wait to see more and more and a whole show run by someone who's Afro Latinx who's doing it, you know, so. Absolutely. Thank you so much and enjoyed the second season very much. Thank, Thank you. you. So glad.